Good afternoon, my name is Jim. I am the assistant service manager here at Tacoma RV, but I also do a, uh, a night shift as a Dutch oven cook. And I do a lot of barbecuing. And today I wanted to show you how easy it is to do this type of cooking. A lot of people look at Dutch oven cooking and barbecuing and they say it's so complicated, but in all actuality, it's very simple. It's just a matter of knowing when to walk away. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to use for what we're doing today. First of all, I have a steel table. This particular one is made by Lodge Logic. Um, there are several different brands of tables and pots, and we'll kind of go over that a little bit. But you've got to have a good steel surface or concrete. Blacktop concrete works really well if you want to cook down in the ground. Doesn't hurt at all. The other thing is, Worth its weight in gold is a charcoal chimney. Um, I have the label on this one here. I actually picked this up at Walmart yesterday, $7.88. Not expensive, but these things are just an absolute fabulous tool, and you'll see why here in just a moment. Also, you will need this little guy. Uh, they call it a lid lifter, but actually you're gonna do several different things with this tool and we'll show you that as we go along, but definitely have to have a lid lifter. You will also need these little guys. I don't know what the technical term is for it, but I use them for just about everything. You can actually use these to lift lids or to grab the whole pot and lift it. Um, but these guys I use on my grill. I lift the grills with them. Um, I use these constantly as you'll see. The other thing, as we're going to do the pots, one of the pieces that you will need is called an X stand. And it actually sits on your steel table and holds a pot just like so. And you literally just set it there and walk away. Now, they do have several different models of these. They have ones that look like triangles, there's squares, there's some that are circles. Any of them work, as long as you have something to get that steel pot off the table. Now, along with that, you have the steel pots themselves. Now, these particular pots, this one here has no legs on it. That's why we need the stand. Um, but it's just a cast iron pot, has a bale on it to hold on to it, has a lid. These things will last forever if you take care of them. Now I do have pots. Exactly the same size, but these ones have legs on them. I personally like the ones with legs better, so you don't have to use the stands. You can set these up on concrete, asphalt, anything you want, and they work beautifully. Now, one other thing that we are going to use today is just your basic cast iron frying pan. Um, these things have been around for two, three centuries. Uh, this particular one uh, is made by Lodge Logic. Uh, this one here is also made by Lodge Logic. They're just a basic pan, easy to take care of. Everybody's got one of these at home. Okay, now we're gonna start some charcoal and use the charcoal chimney that we talked about. And I wanted to show you how easy this is. It is so easy that a salesman can do it. Okay, now I talked to you about uh, starting the, the charcoal in the chimney, but to recycle, uh, trying to be green about things, trying to keep our, our planet green. Right, Hayes? That's right. Okay. Now, everybody gets drink carriers when you go to McDonald's or Burger King. You get a couple drinks and you gotta put them in a carrier. So, don't throw these things away. They are wonderful for starting your charcoal. So, if you could do the honors, okay. you wanna just wad that up into a big ball. Okay. Big ball. and then lift that up and set it inside there. Install the napkin 
in one of the holes on the side. You want to push it almost all the way in there. Just a little tiny bit left out. Okay, now we have an open bag of charcoal here. You want to grab that and fill that all the way up to the top. Just dump it all in there. Now all we're going to do is light that napkin. I'll actually use a lighter. Use a lighter, that works. Now, the most important thing to know at this point is once you have that lid or lit up and it's starting on fire, walk away. In 13 minutes, that'll be ready to go. Okay, at this point, we've got our charcoals all ready to go. You can see they're starting to gray on top, which tells you they're ready and set for motion. And on my steel plate, I just dump them out. Now, I'm going to make a ring of coals down here on the bottom. And there is a formula for how many coals you want to use. The formula kind of goes like this. Whatever size pot you're going to use, you double that amount of, of inches. In this case, it's a 12-inch pot, so we're going to use 24 coals, but we only want one quarter of them on the bottom. So in this case, we're going to use six coals on the bottom. Because we got a little bit of wind, I'm going to put a seventh one down here. I'll put my X plate on there. And all I do, set the Dutch oven on, and now I'm going to put the other 18 coals on top. And there we go, 18 on top. At this point, we'll be in about 15 minutes. We'll turn it a little bit, and in 45 minutes, it'll be ready to eat.